tanks in the game. At least tier 8 premium. Bang! Hello. I see a double. So satisfying, dude. I use my mouse wheel. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Object 703 version 2. Now it's a Russian tier 8 heavy tank. It's a premium, and the cool thing about it is it has two barrels. So War Gaming just put it into the premium shop uh, a few days ago. And they're doing a deal where you can buy the tank, just the base bundle, and you can keep it for 14 days, play as many games as you want. And if you don't like it, and you, you can return it within those 14 days, make a ticket in the uh, support page, and you'll get your full money's worth back. So I thought it was a really cool deal, and it kind of led me to talk about the tank a little bit, how to play it, how to free market even, and uh, if you're facing one, what to do. So, uh... I'll show you guys some gameplay, talk a little bit about the stats, and I uh, hope you guys will enjoy. Peace. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the main thing with this tank. The two guns. Now, the two guns, they both hit for $390 apiece. And how they work is you can fire one at a time if you'd like. Or you could set a keybind. I have mine as shift. So I would hold down shift and there's a three second cooldown. And after three seconds, both shells will fire. So sometimes if you're trying to lead a tank, you kind of have to keep aiming with it. And it does seem a little bit awkward to do. So you need to time it properly. Or you can fire one at a time and there's five seconds in between shells. So typically I have mine at about 11 second reload. Instead of waiting the 11 seconds to reload your shell, you can fire your second shell after five seconds. So it gives your effective DPM uh, a much higher quantity. Now that's something I want to talk about is the effect of DPM because after you double shot there is five seconds added, so five actually it's four seconds added to the reload, overall reload of both uh, shots. So you have to wait four seconds then you can start reloading normally again. And that might seem like a long time but if you're thinking about it you make one poke Maybe you get hit once for it, but you shoot two in return. So it makes your effective DPM, the, how much damage you're actually doing, not just raw numbers, much higher. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the armor. So like, let's uh, look at this tank compared to the Defender. You can see this tank is very, uh, it, it is angled, but it's like, it's a flatter armor. So even though it's very nicely armored, it's definitely a flatter armor, and you could shoot here, you could shoot here. It's all pretty much about the same. Obviously, the lower plates the weak point, but if you look at a tank like the Defender, a tank that probably does have better armor, very well angled, different angles at each point. Um, the more you side scrape, the flatter this is. So with a pike nose, you want to like drive straight at someone to angle. With this tank, it's a very good side scraper because it can angle like this, you're going to have trouble penetrating this unless you have very high penetration. And this whole area here is impenetrable. Now, one problem you do have is that if you overangle too much, the shot into the front sprocket is uh, very easy to hit. And you can tr get tracked and uh, take damage for it. Something to think about. Now, I think the next two important things to talk about are the equipment and the ammo loadout. So, for the equipment, I would like to run vents, first stab, and improved aiming unit. What that's going to do is just really allow you to hit those snapshots, uh, and it's also going to help your dispersion quite a bit to be able to hit those really long-range shots that you just can sit and fully aim at. Uh, very helpful. Now, when it comes to the ammo loadout, um, the APCR is actually quite nice. Um, you know, as I said, it's 390 alpha, but you got 221 uh, penetration with that APCR shell speed. And then the heat is also very nice. It's 270. Um, I don't see myself shooting a lot of heat, typically, because it does take a bit longer to load, because you have to do load two shells, obviously. And then the HE is actually really good, because if you think about it, you can double shot HE at someone who's like, hold down, you can't pen them, and hit them for like maybe three, 400 damage, uh, instead of just doing like 150. So that's actually kind of a cool thing to think about. Alright, so jumped into the gameplay here. We got Sand River Encounter, and I was really happy about this when I saw that. I got this map on Encounter because it's just so fun to play, especially in a heavy tank. You can get right up in their faces. Good matchmaking as well, with only one arty. So, 
I like taking this middle position here. Very strong, especially for holdown tanks. And you can pretty much farm them as the enemy team tries to get up north or get up to our middle, middle positions. So, as you can see, we've got the, the two shells loading in the middle. So, to fire the double shot, you can hold shift or whatever your keybind is. And it will load them up for three seconds. You can cancel at any time by releasing shift. And you'll see me using that at, at some point in the battle. So up to this middle point, these light tanks are kind of pressuring up. Let's see if we can get shot at the T-69. The guard crosses. Not today, buddy. So as you can see, like the accuracy is actually pretty decent for a 390 alpha gun. Like I, I feel pretty comfortable that I'm going to hit my shots. I like it a lot. Still playing this middle position. 69 tries to poke on me. He's not going to be able to do anything. And this is something that I like about frontline heavy tanks, is even though we may not have really good view range, I believe I only have about 390 in my tank at this point, you are in the front, and if people are behind you shooting, then you will be getting assistance. So if I already hit something that you're spotting, you know, you're going to get assistance. You don't have to be a light tank to get damage or some assistance. I mean. Nice shot to the VK. Almost hit the links there. Pretty crazy stuff. So this VK, just not the play. Definitely not the play. All right, so we're still holding this ridge. See if we can get shot on this 54 or 44. Miss, but we got the track. All good, all good. Oh, one thing I want to mention before we go forward. It's just kind of an interesting little fact. You know, everyone talks about marks, and, you know, I have three marks of excellence. Well, technically, this tank has 12 marks of excellence. Because if you count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So... It's a nice thing to brag to your friends. You're like, yo, I've got 12 marks in my tank. A little ridiculous. A bit unlucky in the STG. Typically that turret is pretty easy to pen, but we, we hit the melee or something. We get a shot into the Lynx. That Carnivron breaks our gun. I hate when that happens. That's actually one thing in this tank that does happen a lot. Is that your guns get broken. Because there are two of them. Now, the tank I would compare this the most with would obviously be the Defender. But I think the Defender is now outclassed by this tank, just ensure damage dealing potential. You are able to have so many more opportunities in this tank than the Defender because you're faster, your gun is better, you have two of them, you can do more damage in quicker bursts. And while you do bounce less shots, it's not by such a large margin. Alright, do we get the double here into the LHM? do 827 damage that's crazy like that guy didn't even see me and suddenly his entire tank was gone now you can see our reload was a little bit longer than typical because we did fire the double oh look got a shot now this is something i say that you should do in auto reloaders i also think it's something you should do in this tank you should always always be taking damage when you get in i guess i guess you could say there are times when holding that second shell is better, but it's very, very rare. Usually the best thing to do is if you have a shot, you should be taking that shot because you don't know what opportunities you're going to have in the future. You could miss out on damage, you know, uh, by holding that shot. Then you're not able to shoot anything for a minute and you're like, why did I, you know, not fire? So in my opinion, unless it's a very tactical specific situation, you should be firing when possible. So you're seeing a bit of the mobility here. We're able to do about 35, 40 down this down this ramp, getting into position. And we're winning the game right now. We're up four tanks, up about 2k HP. Beautiful physics there. And right now we're just pressuring up. We're able to use the dunes to cover. Let's see, we're going to shoot this 34-2 here. I didn't double there, though. The reason for that being is it's a three-second, you know, in between so you can fire your double and I didn't know if that guy was gonna be able to get away in that time so often it's best to just take your damage as I said beautiful like look at that accuracy though that that was just basically snapped off really nice alpha I think the only other tank in my opinion that's maybe better whoa we pre-aimed the double nice 892 there's just some high rolls wow that that's just it's so satisfying to watch so as i was saying the only other tank that i think is better or even on the same level as this tank is the renegade the renegade 
while it does have less armor, it's very mobile. Gun depression's great. The uh, the gold rounds in that tank just shred enemies with its APCR shell velocity and pen. The Renegade is an awesome tank. It's honestly my favorite tier 8 heavy. But I was playing the 703 the other day, and as you can see, this tank is a lot of fun. Not only does it do so much damage, the sound that it makes. It's the sound. When you fire those double barrels, there is no louder gun in the game. You can hear it from across the map. You know when somebody double fired and there's 703. So we get the nice shot into the 34-2. We really want this end game damage here. It's kind of a quick game actually, only about six minutes. We're moving up. Nice shot into the T32 to end it. Five kills, 4.6k damage. 1700 assist solid work there the end now as i mentioned before war gaming is selling this tank for a limited period i believe it's for another uh, four or five days and they're having a deal right now where you can buy the tank and you'll have 14 days to play it and by the end of those 14 days if you don't uh, like the tank you submit a ticket or within those 14 days and they will totally refund all your money back um i'll link the uh, Wargaming Premium Shop and the uh, support page if you're interested. Um, no pressure if you're not. We actually gave away one of these in my stream pretty recently, so if you're interested in maybe uh, getting some more giveaways, uh, go ahead and hit up my Twitch with a follow. I also have uh, Twitter, and you can join my Discord. Hope you guys will uh, enjoy those, and I really appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you in the next video. Peace, everybody.